What we want to show here is that Whirlwind is more than just an appearance of 3D, but it's actually an interactive model. So I'm going to click on the, the Earth. As you can see, I can move it around. Then I can zoom in. We start to get some geographical information. I can move it around. And so the nice thing is when you're actually running simulations, you can actually move the Earth and track them as they're happening in, quote, real time. You can either program the code to follow the trajectory, or you can just move it around, and I'll show that in a few minutes. But anyway, so this is a really interactive tool. And um, right now we're just looking at the Earth in a dark background, but we can add in layers. So here we've added three layers. We have the UTM grid. We have the atmosphere, which you can see kind of that sort of whitish outline. And then we have the stars, which you can see all around here. Again, we can move it around. The UTM grid is just kind of nice because you get the immediate information of latitude, longitude, and, and so on. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other kinds of layers, things that you can add in, objects, and so on and so forth. But just this just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do. And the next thing we'll look at is um, simulations, trajectories through space over the Earth running, as I said before, quote, in real time. So here we've got two trajectories. We we'll call them airplanes. It's kind of exaggerated. We're going to have a radar. There we go. So that you can assume a radar station there, and that's like a radar track line. And it's tracking the aircraft or the launch vehicle, you know, maybe NASA sending something up, whatever you want to consider it. And we have two different trajectories. But as they're, the whole idea here is as you're moving along or as the trajectory is moving along, you can move the earth or move the globe and get different perspectives on what's actually happening. And you could program this uh, to move around or you can just grab it with your mouse and watch as everything happens real time. So here we're going to have another radar station. There it goes. Now that radar, it came within range. Uh, and so now it's tracking this object here and we can watch all this uh, slowly unfold. And so that's what one of the really cool aspects of NASA WorldWind is that you can do this kind of thing with simulations. And I'll show um, a faster version of this as far as these trajectories. So here we see the same thing happening, but it's happening a lot faster. And now we'll zoom in and, and try to see what, if we can sort of watch the whole thing unfold, but it's gonna happen very, very quickly. This one's gonna land over here and this one's gonna land right about there. So of course, the speed of the simulation can be as fast as you want. It's up to you to program it, but you can see things happen quickly or slowly, but however you want to do your animations.